Albuquerque Mayor Richard Berry recently proposed over $23 million in new projects for downtown Albuquerque. That would include an arena that could seat up to 10,000 people. Rachel Sams, Albuquerque Business First, great reporting on this idea. Thank you. There's like three interesting parts to this. Let's take the parking bit first. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I believe it's like some 400 odd spaces somewhere at First right. and Central. It's that northeast corner, mm -hmm. sort of uh, directly north of, of the uh, train station there. It surprises most people that a building that you don't have to heat and cool and have electricity, well, you have electricity, costs $15 million as Absolutely. part of, out of that $23 million. You're, again, uh, uh, interesting stuff I'm reading in your paper about that. That's what we heard the most about from readers. I One, bet. Why does it cost so much? <laughs> Two, there are a lot of people who are asking, why are we spending money on that right. when we have all of the public safety issues that we're discussing now? Even downtown. So one of our That's reporters right. went back to some of the city officials and asked them some specific questions. Mm -hmm. um, and the reason they're making the case, they say, for the parking garage, um, they say the spaces are needed. They say that the mm -hmm. existing garages and lots are at capacity when it comes to right. commercial purposes. Right. There are new employees. Employers coming downtown, mm -hmm. like Molina, which mm -hmm. is bringing 650 employees. But again, you're you're hearing a lot in the community about people who are kind of honestly aghast at that number. You know, and the parking the parking perception, Rob, downtown is a never-ending problem. Some folks say there's plenty of parking. Mm -hmm. We hear from the administration, as Rachel Sams just mentioned, say we're at capacity. But that vig, that 15 and a half yeah. million, is really astounding when you think about it. But all the construction people say, look, this is how it's done. This is this is what it costs to build a parking garage. Yeah, color me skeptical about this. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I I just don't know if if this is really uh, the the purpose. I know that you that you want to revitalize downtown Albuquerque. Right. You have to get the ball rolling, but there have been a number of studies uh, that that show that. Um, when it, especially when it comes to, to, to sports mm -hmm. arenas and, mm -hmm. and putting sports arenas in, in, in various downtown facilities. I mean, everyone points to uh, uh, Camden Yards in Baltimore, yeah. and, they, and that's sort of like the gold standard. Right. But there are also, there's a lot of examples of, uh, of money that could be better spent. And I think that, mm -hmm. as Rachel said, uh, when you've got problems with APD, when you've got problems with crime, when you've got problems with education, mm -hmm. It just seems, I, th I think for a lot of people, it's, it strikes a sour note. It's a gag factor, so to speak, yeah. yeah. Internet well, health. gag factor might yeah. be a little strong, but, right. but, <laughs> but you know, we're also spending money on, uh, Albuquerque spending money on, on, on this bus transit thing down, down Central. Right. And, and that's even got some store owners in, in, in Central, on Central Avenue who are, who are questioning that, of them, critical absolutely. of it. So yeah. I, I don't know. Yeah, absolutely. Internet, you know, the idea that downtown you know, to, uh, Rachel and, and, and Rob's point, there's something coming down the road. This is about building for the future. It's not about building for our immediate needs. And I've, I, the feedback I get from a lot of people over the years is, why can't we build for the future? Why can't we always anticipate things 20 years down the road and invest in, in, in things. Is that a reasonable well, argument to and you? It, and it was interesting because I appreciated the, the transparency about the numbers and everything mm -hmm. else, but it is job creation. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of people who are okay. gonna get work yeah. Uh, because of this job. And I probably travel in different circles with people saying, hey, more jobs. Right, exactly. My man, retractable roof over the convention hey, center. That's cool. For ten, it is kind of yeah. cool. It I, is kind of yeah. cool. I mean, it's, but these things aren't free. Yeah, <laughs> <no>. <laughs> and in 1963, it was like going, hey, you know what? We're kind of a man on the moon someday. That's, that's right. really cool. That's and right. so I believe that that will happen yeah. you know, and stuff. And I'm glad to see the investment in downtown. Yeah. Uh, our offices used to be based in downtown uh, Albuquerque. That's right. Uh, the parking was horrid, and, mm -hmm. um, and, the, and it just didn't feel good. Uh, and so we it was impactful in hiring, wasn't it? Or, yeah, it or was. retaining even people. Sometimes, well, yeah, you know? I mean, yeah. you know, it's uh, definitely in hiring because yeah. you know people don't want to go downtown. Mm -hmm. And you know, even still with our offices in Journal Center, mm -hmm. I can't. I have to say, I don't look forward to going to downtown Albuquerque just because it's just like that. Uh, it's not mm -hmm. quite there. Mm -hmm. So I'm really thrilled to see the investment. Uh, in the downtown area. I think that the, the improvements to the convention center already as far as the new facade right. uh, is great and some of the new other improvements as far as on Civic, you know, Civic Plaza, I think those are all good but it really comes down to how do you clean up downtown right. and that gets back to how do you provide the services uh, you know, and you know, wh how is it a, a cohesive kind of approach that includes organizations that work with uh, you know, uh, those experiencing homelessness mm. uh, as well as uh, behavioral health issues as mm -hmm. well. Rachel, and thank you for that point right there. You set it up beautifully. Mm -hmm. Oftentimes when you read about how cities grow and morph and change, something has to start that first domino to fall mm -hmm. to get to what Tom's talking about. 
Do you know what I mean? Right. It, once things are invested, you look at everything differently suddenly saying, maybe it's not so much money to help people out here if we have less people on the street. Is that a reasonable argument for, for an, is that part of investing in your view for the well, future? It, one thing that um, supporters of downtown mm -hmm. often point to is it's really hard to find a city that has revitalized and turned itself around and grown its economy that mm -hmm. doesn't have a prosperous downtown. That's right. So that's, um, that's a point that we hear a lot. Yeah. Show of hands, anybody who would not miss that fountain on Civic Park? <laughs> anybody? <laughs> yeah, right, anybody at home? I'll I mean, anybody? <laughs> I, you know, when it was first built, it was like, okay. Nobody cared about water, nobody, you know, it, it looks cute. My kids were young, brought them down there, they play around, throw pennies in. Now you look at that thing, it's like, Rob <laughs> Nikoleski, it's got to go. I, w I was just really pleased to see that in the mayor's plan, you know. We can do better with water with that Logan's thing. It's a bad run, message, right? You know? Exactly. <laughs> Logan's, Logan's run. That's, I mean, granted, they filmed it in Fort Worth, but right. it looks like right. something out of that futuristic movie. It's recorded in posterity now. You know. Well, if, if we've... There's got to be something to do. I live in Santa Fe, yeah. uh, and when, when I do go into Albuquerque and downtown, I, I've never really had too much trouble when I've gone to the convention center to park, but mm -hmm. maybe I'm not going to these big, gigantic events. Right, right. So to me, like that $15 million figure for, you know, for parking just sort of sticks in your craw. Right. Are you okay with the money for a retractable roof? What, do you, what, do we, what would you think that would add to the convention center? Because again, Rachel makes a point. The, the ACVB people and others will tell you, we are competing at a huge disadvantage when it comes to re getting you know, good events here because we just don't have enough quite amenities you know, downtown. Would a retractable roof help solve that problem or is that more for locals to? Well, I, I've, I've seen some people say, well, you know, they'd be great if we could host a, a conference, a basketball tournament there. I'm like, well, that's sort of what the pit's for. We spent a lot of money on the pit as well, or right. at least the university did. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I, 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 th I think that it's it's hard to be able. It's it's great to try to stimulate something downtown, mm -hmm. but getting that stuff actually off the ground, I think, is is going to be difficult. And from a free market perspective, you're thinking, well, if if people really want to come downtown, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that that needs to grow organically. Right, and what attracts them. And to that, you know, staying on Civic Plaza for a quick second, there's been many, many plans to change Civic Plaza over the years. It's just, you know, a hot, flat, expansive hardscape. It's a difficulty. Some of the artist renderings I've seen over the years are really interesting. Getting some trees in there, getting some shade in there, you know, the whole thing. But would that make, is Civic Plaza suited to be like a public area? Is, is there enough around it to engender walking and hanging out and well, being maybe, on your laptop and all that kind of thing. Maybe if it were more attractive, we could because yeah. we don't really have a gathering space downtown. Right. It would really be nice to to make that happen. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. Like the but Santa I worried Plaza. about. Like I said, exactly right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But remember Breaking Bad in the scene of, with with the plaza. I just wonder what's going to be gone. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was fun. <laughs> I just, you know, remember when they first built, you probably do tell them, they first built it, it was like a controversy. Remember they had to rip up the original pour of oh, concrete, yeah, 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 yeah. you know, to find the, you know. But again, you know, the idea that the mayor is trying to, get back to the point here, is trying to get something pointed towards the future. Sure. Towards something about downtown and an innovation and entertainment district. Let's go back to that parking garage. We're talking about other things here. We're talking about a 10-lane bowling alley, mm -hmm. restaurants. We got probably 20 brew pubs, the way things are going right now. Sure, yeah. You know, that kind Just of in thing. one block. In yeah. one block. What's the matter with that? Yeah, I mean, you, you want to dream. You want to be able to think of this. And here's a right. little kind of PR, PR insight. You know, he's, he, he's the mayor's being very tactful. He always has been mm -hmm. uh, with how things are presented. The retractable roof idea, never going to happen. <laughs> it's very cool to talk about. Lost leader. See, that's just <laughs> it. People are talking about it, and the goal is to get to people to talk about that's renovations. Nice. Well, maybe not the retractable roof, but uh, I could go for these other things, right. at which point you create buy-in. Gotcha. Gotcha. Community buy-in, Rob. I mean, I, I understand you're in Santa Fe, but it's the, it's the biggest city now in, in New Mexico. And our downtown is not getting it done by any reasonable standard. Isn't it worth investing $25 million? When you really think about it, it's not a lot of money in the overall scheme of things, especially since the mayor said the largest tax is increasing. We can pay for it. We can afford it, quote unquote. Right. Well, mm -hmm. and, and he's got Isaac Benton on board, so right. you know, we've got a Democrat and a Republican. That's um, right. I wish them good luck, but I, I mean, we've got a, 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 there's a, a recent brew pub owner mm -hmm. uh, who's been fighting with the city as far as the red tape involved and, re and uh, regulations involved. That's right. You know, maybe that's 
uh, an avenue to look at. You know, right. Reducing red tape and getting more businesses because it is the downtown area in Albuquerque is pretty dead mm -hmm. and there is a lot of homelessness there. Rachel, let me let you finish here. Just about 10, 20, 30 seconds left here. Uh, we had a, a big push to get rid of the 4th Street Mall. Big eyes mm -hmm. sore forever. We extended 4th Street now that mm -hmm. goes north. And is that working in your view? I, I walk up and down that a lot. It seems better to me. I, I kind of dig it. I wish more businesses were there, but it's a start, it seems to me. How about for you? Yeah, I think the jury's still out on it. I think yeah. it's still early. I do agree with you that I, I see less, you know, of the kind of activity that would make people avoid that area right. there, That's but right. it's not like I see a great surge of people to that area there either. Go. There you go. Let's see what happens. Thank you all for being here. Good stuff this week.